Hello everybody, this is Joey here. Middle of February, I just wanted to provide everybody with a life update. Things have been crazy in 2024, at least for me, health-wise. <clears throat> um, the first weekend of 2024 came down with strep throat. So I was out for a few days with that come back from that feeling better still dealing with some congestion and stuff from like a just sickness just in general sickness and a lot of stuff going around and then at the end of January last day of January <clears throat> uh was again just achy and just not feeling well to the COVID test it was negative took the day off from work, just slept, rested. And that's really what my body needed, I guess, for that time was just the rest to just uh, recover from that. Next day was Thursday, February 1st. So went through work that day, came home. My wife works late on Thursday night. She's a teacher. She comes home and she's like, I think I got COVID again. Took a test and sure enough, COVID. So then I took a test. <clears throat> I felt okay, not great, but felt okay. Uh, negative. The test was negative. Friday, uh, just she's recovering. I slept away from her, stayed away from her. Friday went to work, after work, went and did a Sam's Club run and an Aldi run just so we can have groceries. Saturday did, went to the post office, did Walmart grocery run, so we're, we're good on groceries for there. Take another test, negative. Sunday, woke up and was feeling bad, but just thought it was just the culmination of everything and went to Walgreens, picked up some different things that we needed, came back, took another test, positive. Second time with COVID, <clears throat> contacted my boss, got all the work stuff straight. Um, and so I was out for a week with COVID and my first day, that Sunday, the first positive day, felt okay. Monday, I got up at five because I had to go to my office. And I said, if I've got to go to my office, I'm gonna go when there's nobody around. So, and nobody is up on a college campus at 5 a.m. other than me. So I go, grab some things that I need, set an automatic reply for my um, email and set my voicemail that I would be out. Grab some things, came back, went through that day. Okay, towards the end of the day was getting rough. That was the day that the symptoms were really bad. I had to take the trash out. I live 15 yards from the dumpster. So to go do that 15 yards and back, I got a chill. I had a fever of 101, took something, took some <clears throat> Tylenol and also some Sudafed for that, bundled up, took a nap, fever came down. Body aches were bad that day. Tuesday get up feeling 100% better. Still not feeling great, but feeling 100% better than I was on Monday. As I go along with the day, that was my wife's last day of isolation. I'm still, I'm mean, only in day two of isolation. As the day goes on, again in the afternoon, I start to feel bad, not as bad as before, but the aches and the congestion was really hitting me. Wednesday, I felt better. I, I progressively would feel better with little bouts 
of just feeling bad, but each day's bout was not as bad as the day before, so I was feeling better with that. And Wednesday, my wife went back to work. Wednesday, I'm okay. Thursday afternoon, the exhaustion hits me to where you feel like you're recovering well from the aches, the congestion, and all of that. I still have some congestion. It's nowhere near as bad as it was. I still have some, but just that exhaustion where you take a nap and you wake up and you're still exhausted, like not rested at all. Still getting a lot of that. And then also, <clears throat> excuse me, not as bad, but have had some moment of like COVID brain of where you just sit there and have to think, all right, what exactly am I doing? And then go and do it. So there's that. So I've been dealing with all of that. Um, mental health has been getting better. Uh, still dealing with just everything with the anxiety. And I've, I've been talking about, it. if you've not been watching the shorts that I put out or at least we're putting out before I got COVID. I'm trying to get back into things. I'll talk about my daily anxiety and how I'm dealing with that. Um, and then also just weight struggles. I put on some weight. Still within a 10 pound, I've been within a 10 pound like window or what, whatever you call it for about two years now. Um, so not a rapid weight gain. There has been some gain, but I'm looking back at what my weight was at different times and have set a goal of about 12 pounds between now and the end of March. So it's mid-February now. By the end of March, I want to do have lost 12 pounds. Uh, but that was before I haven't weighed myself in a few days, so maybe less than 10, le less than 12 pounds now um, for an event that I'm going to be at. So that has been a good goal for me. And with that, if I lose that, my main goal is get below 250. Um, the goal I set for myself is 245. But if I get below 250, that'll be big because that'll be 100 pounds down from my surgery day in less than three years from when I had gastric bypass surgery. So that is just huge um, for me. And also 250 would also be 126 pounds from when I started my weight loss goal uh, to get into the program to have the gastric bypass. So I was 376 that first day that I first met with the um, dietitian and the nutritionist to get approved and to go through that process, which I've talked about before. But my heaviest I've also talked about this before. One time when I was sick with clothes on, I believe I weighed in at 403 pounds and they transposed two numbers and put 430, which I've never weighed 430 pounds. But heaviest I got was 392 pounds. And that is documented. That was with nothing on but a pair of underwear at home. So, so that'll be 142 pounds from that. So a lot of goals that I am trying to hit um, with that, working on my mental health, working on my physical health. I also recently got a night guard for my top row of teeth because I grind my teeth and that has helped a lot with that because I would wake up and if I was under high stress or just exhausted or 
there was a while there where it was every day. When I would go to speak and my jaw and mouth would move, I would click. It would be an audible click on this side and also just unbearable, just jaw pain. And it would go up and, and below my neck and up into like my temple areas. I'm guessing along where, where the jaw is with that. And I mentioned that to the surgeon and they looked and he's like, yeah, you can see some grinding. So I go there, they, they take all of these pictures of your teeth because I it was the first time going to the dentist and he's taking all these x-rays and pictures of my teeth and all of that. And then I have to go back in to be fitted for the night guard and the mold or whatever it is kept not doing right. And they said, well, it was a smaller size. They needed to get more anyway. So finally he had to come in and do the mold by hand, which I found extremely fascinating and would have liked to have seen him do it if it wasn't in the man doing it all in my mouth. So that was a little bit uncomfortable, but I did finally get the night guard two days after coming out of the isolation for COVID. So not feeling great and have to put in this thing, but it has helped a lot with the teeth grinding. So working on mental health, working on my physical health, working on my emotional health, um, stretching myself professionally, personally, and all of that, putting myself into a place where 2024 is going to be the best year yet. And I hope that it's the best year yet for you all. If you're following me, this is going to be uh, up on YouTube at the Joey Harris. If you would like to follow me, I'm at the Joey Harris. I'm also releasing this as a follow up podcast on the Joey Harris show. So if you want to follow me on that as well, on all major podcast platforms, Joey Harris comedy at gmail.com. If you want to email me social media, if I'm on it, it is at the Joey Harris and I would love it for you to follow me there. Like subscribe, comment, do what you want to do. Go out and make it a great life. We'll see you next time.